Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey it's DJ the Diva coming at you with another video. Operation Get Snatched. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad. I am getting a late, little late start today, but that's okay. Not as early as I usually am. But I'm still getting her done. The hair is a complete mess. <laughs> a messy bun. But it is what it is. There's an overcast, as you guys can see the sky. Y'all see that? Yeah. Um, when I left the house, it was just 58. So, hopefully it'll reach about 70 today and be nice. I've had a little trouble with Arthur this morning. So let me show you guys my outfit. This top, I got this top because it matched the, those lightweight summer sweatpants I have on. The waistband has this same color on it. But, you can't see it. <laughs> I do have my waistband belt on. The one with the two straps to go across. I've been trying to get that to go tighter and tighter. Let me see if I can get you guys out the sun here for a minute. You can see my outfit. And yes, I do have my slides on. Like I was saying, my little Nike slides. Um... I'm not going to let nothing stop me. I'm just in that mindset and that mood. Nothing's going to stop me. Not even Arthur. And my, the bottom of my feet are swollen. So I wasn't going to put on my sneakers just yet. Just didn't feel like it. Even though I get them one size bigger than what I actually wear just for those times but no no <laughs> not this morning so I'm just doing what I need to do to get this walk out in <laughs> we can commune together as I walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. <laughs> now you walk it out and I walk it out. <laughs> Gotta have fun with it. Gotta have fun. I'm in another challenge this week. I'm gonna try my best. But I got a lot of work to do this week, so I don't know if I'm going to be going as hard as I went last week. I'm going to try to get my steps in by any means necessary, but I can only do what I can do, especially when I'm having a flare up like this. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. It's cool, which is why I got my long sleeve shirt on. But I wear this long sleeve shirt. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. It's one of those that keep you warm in the winter but wick away all the moisture and stuff in the summertime. So I've had this one for a couple years. Um, it's one of those ones that have the... Let me see if I can show you guys the sleeve here. I like that. That helps with my arthritis at times. So, yeah. 
I like that feature. I believe I got that at Walmart years ago because I needed a thermal up underneath because um, I worked as an optician. I needed a thermal underneath my dress shirt. So I went and bought that real quick. I should have bought a few. And if I can remember, it's about, uh, it was no more than $15. I think it was like 14 something. But I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And if I ever find any more, I've even <laughs> wore it so much that the brand is off the back of it. Because you know I would have looked it up and went ahead online and bought. But no can do that because I've worn it and washed it so much that there is no, and it's a tagless shirt. There's no print or anything on the back on the nape of the neck like it used to be. I hope you guys are having a splendid Monday. I hope you woke up on the right side of the bed. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Arthur woke me up at 2, but I got him together enough to take my walk and that I am doing and I'm proud of myself for that because in previous years I would have simply stayed in bed or rubbed down and took it easy but good morning I'm doing better now I'm making an effort, you know, once you get that mindset going, when you know better, you do better, and a lot of times, I feel better when I move more, you know, and a lot of times I try that mind over matter crap. <laughs> But I'm trying. Can't knock a queen for trying. Can't knock the diva for trying, honey. Let me get off the street here. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful morning. Even though it seems like it's going to storm. But if it does start to rain, oh well. You know, the girl ain't got to worry about that with all this. <laughs> I do hope. Good morning. I do hope that you guys are taking the time to enjoy your life, even in the state of the world right now. You know, don't let all of it consume you. I know and I see that there are a there is a spike in suicides. There is a spike in hospitalizations for uh, mental anxiety. And I know this 
everything that's going on with the Black Lives Matter, with the pandemic, and all of that, I know that um, it can kind of get you, get somebody down. Not only that, people are still, still dying at an alarming rate from the coronavirus, okay? It is not gone, y'all. It is imperative and important that we utilize our masks still, our social distancing. And hand washing, hand washing should have been in place anyway. I know it was for me before any of this hit. I've always been on to the hand washing thing and on to the taking your wipes and washing down the wiping down the cart and stuff because they've always provided us with those things. Um, not many people utilized it, but it's always been there and provided for us in the different stores like Giant Eagle and Walmart and such. But now it, it's mandatory. But outside of those things, please continue to live your life. Please continue to live your life. Don't let these things consume you. And that's one thing I try to go on my channel and show you guys. Yes, I'm concerned. Yes, I contribute. Yes, I take my precautions. I follow the law. I utilize my mask, my hand sanitizer, my wipe, my hand washing, and social distancing. I donate to those who are protesting so they can safely do so. But I'm not going to barricade myself inside my house when there's no need to. And I'm not going to um, I'm just not going to make let it consume me to the point where I have a nervous breakdown or that it takes over my life. We have to live outside of these situations. Continue to live, continue to prosper within our own lives within our own families and that's why I walk you see my mask is here because I really don't encounter anybody but if somebody gets really close to me I will for any number of minutes I'll pull up my mask But for me, walking and huffing and puffing, it's easier for me to put it here, especially since I'm by myself. I'm not really encountering anybody. And, you know, me time, me and you time, me, you, and God. But in saying that, y'all, just live life. Find the joy. In every moment, there are so many people who have passed because of this virus and stuff that would have loved to take your place, honey. You know, live for those people. Live for those people. Don't die. Don't kill yourself because of the state of the world. And if you feel like 
you are a danger to yourself or anybody else, please seek help. There is nothing wrong with seeking help. If you have anxiety and you know that even before this hit, that you have any sort of anxiety and you feel it increasing, if you're depressed, go seek help. There is nothing wrong with seeking help when you need it. It's just another form of a doctor, you know? It's just another form of self-care. Throughout my life, I've had to, at times, go talk to a therapist. Sometimes, you know, there's things so deep and private that you wish not to burden your loved ones with or you just don't want nobody else to know. You can't figure it out on your own and you need some help. I've been there. That's part of self-care. That's part of taking care of you. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, we're at 16 minutes. I know. I... Okay. My father drowned to death. Father's Day, 1987, right in front of me and my brother. Okay, we had nightmares for years and years and years and years. Sometimes I still do. Uh, we you know, we talk about it often. Uh, when Father's Day comes, it's like a real downer. But you know, um, now that I'm a minister, I see stuff different because I know it was just his time. And however he went, he was going to go regardless. God was going to call him home because it was just his time. Um... But that didn't stop the nightmares. It doesn't stop the nightmares. And when I got grown, I, cause I was always the one that tried to be strong for everybody else. That's why my siblings always said, you're second to mom, not because I'm the oldest, but because I'm more of the nurturer out of us three. Um, but when I got grown and every Father's Day, just when it would hit near Father's Day and I'd be an uncontrollable crime mess, I decided, nope. And I'm going to teach my kids from here that it's okay to go get help and talk to somebody about it. And I did. And that's when I got back into my journaling and deep prayer and meditation. You know, I didn't know much about a war room but I had uh, did up with a stool and a blanket and stuff and my Bible a special corner in my room and that's where I would pray and meditate and close out the whole world while I did so I would journal journal all my feelings but I've been doing that since I was little when my mom got me my first diary she did something there she didn't know that she was actually doing something but I'd write all my feelings and stuff 
all my feelings down. And that made me a whole person. That helped make me a whole person. When you can get your feelings out, because I was always the loner. Uh, the person who always held things in. I didn't want to bother anybody or burden anybody. You know, especially when you see people are going through enough on their own. I would always been empathetic and sympathetic to other people's feelings, especially my parents. Especially my parents. So, um, and saying that, that first diary, and I think I might, and it was a Christmas gift. I think I might have been nine or ten, something like that. Because I remember I got it the same year. I got a bike for Christmas. We all had got a bike for Christmas. And I cherished that bike in that diary. And it was pink and it had glittery stuff on it. And it came with a pen with a pink puff on the top. And I just thought I was it. The bee's knees, honey. <laughs> So, nothing wrong with finding help when you need it. And let's go to our prayer. <laughs> uh, know from which your help come, coming from the Lord. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning, humbly to the throne of grace, asking for forgiveness for anything that we did that wasn't pleasing to you and thankful that you give us a chance to repent and ask for forgiveness. Thankful for our salvation. Thankful for our blessings that we do not deserve. Thankful for you blessing us day in and day out. Thankful for you waking us up on this side of heaven. Thankful. Thankful and grateful for the mercies and grace that you afford us. Lord, we ask that you bless our world that we live in. We ask that you bless, comfort, and keep us through everything that we are going through. We ask a special prayer of protection and comfort and peace over those who are going through mental issues, domestic violence, homelessness, and who are sick with the coronavirus. Lord, we moreover ask that you encamp your angels of protection around us as we go about our day and use us to edify and uplift your kingdom. For we pray in the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, and amen, y'all. Let the church say amen. <laughs> yes, Lord. My heartbeat, heart rate is at a 25, 125. Let's kick it up a notch. Let's kick it up. I don't know, it seems like after I do my prayer, it's when I get that oomph. Get that oomph, y'all. <laughs> like my body's ready to go in overdrive. I'm ready to go in overdrive, y'all. See, 25 minutes. 
I'm ready to go in overdrive. I'm ready to really, um, this week, now last week I did a meatless week. This week, I'm going to do my fish and seafood, which I'm a pescatarian at heart because I ate, you know, my weekends are free. I can do whatever I want. I ate some meat. Lord Jesus, what I do that for? It made me so sick. So sick, I tell you. I threw up everything but my memories. Everything but my memories. Maybe one or two memories leaked out. I don't know. But, girl. Divas and Devos, that was no fun. So, I keep telling y'all. I think I have a react, allergic reaction to red meat and pork. But honey was barbecuing and I was like, let me try just a little bit. That little bit tore me up. Tore me up and I think it exasperated my arthritis and I was already having a small flare. But honey, it really did a number on me. You know. So I just got to leave that alone. No matter how good I think it is, it's not good for me. And, you know, that too is a struggle. That is a struggle for me, but it's something I'm going to have to get over because that's one of those sick feelings where you ever got drunk in your life and you be bringing it all up and you say Lord if you get me through this I'll never do it again <laughs> same thing <laughs> same exact thing same exact thing exact thing I just I know I look like a bum today <laughs> so, no the only thing that I would change is the shoes but it is what it is y'all it is what it is I am losing inches um I'm not going to check the scale for at least a month um my objective is to not rely on a scale too much but to rely on how I feel and I know I'm losing inches because my clothes are getting looser but I still have this heavy feeling and I have a small a small frame and I've never in my life weighed as much as I weigh now, not even nine months pregnant in any of the six pregnancies that I had. And one was with twins, so, you know, when I was carrying twins, one didn't make it, but I still carried to term. But in saying that, Alright y'all, y'all know I'm kicking it up. I'm kicking it up. I walk in the street, there's someone on either side. So I walk in the street to use my social distancing practices. Okay. I just refuse to let arthritis stop me. Keep going, keep pushing. Even if I have to wear slippers, y'all. Y'all see my little Nike slides. <laughs> kind of 
hard to walk in, especially when you're walking fast, but it is what it is. And I'm going to end this video here, y'all. Please smash that like and subscribe button. Talk bless, act bless. Live bless, walk bless, and be a blessing to the Lord by blessing somebody else. This is DJ the Diva. I love you to life, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for Operation Get Snatched number two. Bye.